Hey, welcome to Real Action. Michael Guest, Jack Nolan, and then we sort of head up to the big dog here. My mate Paul Sheather, he's the assistant manager at the uh, Ebor Trout Hatchery. So that's where all these fantastic rainbow trout are bred and released. They've had a bit of pressure in the last little while. I can see some, some areas here where the fires absolutely ripped through this country. Droughts, yeah, it's been mate. tough. Yeah, since last November, it's been really tough, but it's come back really good now. Come back, so that's from the great work, not only from Paul, and we've been mentioned, we won't mention all the boys, but there's a whole team there at the Ebor Trout Hatchery who are traveling all around the state, letting these little finglings go, and some bigger fish, starting in the New England, but traveling across the state. And I'm gonna sample some of your work, and I've gotta tell you, that looks like a pretty good spot right there. Mate, it's a good spot, I hope there's some fish around well, today. But it's not that his fault anyway. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> That's good here, mate. Here spot A. It's, we're just going to share this island. Okay. Pressure's on. I know the fish is there. We've seen the fish. So now let's see if we can catch the fish down there. Let it sink a little bit. Get a little rattle. And just that. Oh, oh. there he is. And got yes, him. Yes. And got him. And got him. And got him. I'll hook one anyway. Oh, that's a nice. Oh, a nice fish. That's a good looking yep. fish. Oh, boiling around. Skid that. Oh, oh, yes. That's a good one. Yep. Heading for that structure there. Look yeah, out. Yeah, I was trying to turn him around. Into the black barrel. Oh, coming oh. up through here. Let's see if we can't keep him coming that way. He's hung up on the blackberries. Mate, I'm just going to get wet here, I think. I think I've got to. I'm taking it on. I'm taking it on, big fella. Oh. You want the net? Mate, this, this, is, this is not what I wanted to happen here, Paul. Righto. I've cracked that off. We've got a bit of, we've got a bit of shrubbery happening. Any chance you can bring him around here, Guesty, so I don't get wet? Hey, I'll tell you what. Go the, go the wet weather shoes, mate. I'll try and bring him up here. See if we can get him up this run. Up over the rock. Yeah, good stuff. Oh, good looking is. fish. It is, it is, it is. Look at the energy they've got in this beautiful cool water. Let's try and shake some of that off. Look at that. Yes, beautiful, yes, yes. Beautiful, mate, beautiful. Mate, what's going uh, on here? Yeah. We got one. This yes. thing. Go, go, go. Yes, 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 yes. yes. <laughs> we'll leave him in the water. So age-wise, Paul on a fish like uh, that? Two to three, mate, and a male. So that's a male, you can tell by that hook jaw. Yeah, yep. Let's keep his head in the water there. And two to three years of age. Yeah, yep. Wow, so that Good fish, fish would be oh, 45 centimetres yep, long, yep. 46 centimetres long. What do you reckon, kilo? What's he feel oh, like? Oh, yeah, a, just a shade over a kilo. Yep. Oh, you'd call him that two and a half pound fish. Nice. If you're a, oh, let's it down there. If you're a trout fisherman, don't you talk in pounds? Sorry, mate, sorry, I'm, the, I'm, I'm new school. school. I'm new school. You're new school. So, yeah, oh, kilo fish, yeah, mate, it yeah, sounds pretty good. So, yeah. All right, we'll let you go, bud. Off See you go, mate. There he goes. Oh, great stuff. Oh, look at that. He's cruising off. Yep. Got him. There he is. Oh, oh, I love it. Oh, no, you love <laughs> it when a plan that, comes uh, together. Oh, yeah. That's a cool look. Oh, 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 yes. He's playing up. I love it when a plan comes off, Gusty. Now, how many of these finglings get released? Oh, mate, anywhere, like, we do up to two million rainbows and browns a year all over New England and the central... Central two, area of Bathurst and Lithgow. Two million. Yeah, from anywhere from Fry all the way through to big fellas, like up to three or four kilos. So you're like the trout father, really. Aren't I you? am trout the trout father. The trout father. You're the trout father. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to see him still around after the drought and the bushfires, and it's great to see it. Good to see, isn't it? Oh, sneak him in here. Something's off. And I'm sure, I'm sure you all want to know tackle we're using to catch these. Cracking fish, one to three, two to four, seven foot long. You could go shorter if you wanted to. Little 2,000 size spinner like that. Oh, some six pound braid. <laughs> four to six pound fluorocarbon leader and a slippery trout, which I nearly dropped, but I didn't. 
<laughs> well done, mate. Oh, that's a beauty. And one of your little babies. Love, good to see. Good so to good to see. Oh, and off she goes. There's a release. There's nothing better than a day on the water, but you want to make it home safely. So remember, one of the most important pieces of safety gear is your life jacket. Eight out of ten boaters who have drowned in New South Wales were not wearing one. The new jackets come in a range of designs, so they won't get in the way, whether you're chasing a big one or just taking in the sights. Whenever you're out on the water, make sure you and all the crew put one on. Marine Rescue New South Wales volunteers saving lives on the water. Middle of the day now. All right beside each other. Yeah. We'll see what one they like. Competition's on. Oh, right there, boys. Yes. Right at our feet, mate. Right at our feet. That was pretty cool. That's a nice fish, too. That's good. That's, That's a awesome. very good-looking fish. He's aggressive on him, wasn't he? As we said before, that sort of that lightish one to three, two to four. We're using six-pound leader. I've been right down to three-pound for them at times because they're such an eyesight predator. And look, hatchery, as far as the hatchery goes, yep. kids, families, anyone yeah. can come and have a look. Open seven days a week, um, 9 a.m. through to 3 p.m. Yep. Mate, the kids love to come and just feed the fish. The kids, well. Oh, well, kids. there's some big kids too, yeah. <laughs> but just, yeah, no, we get plenty of visitors per year, you know, and they can come and see that any time of the year we do it, we're always doing something different, so yep. it's not okay. the same thing. So it's busy, there's things going on. Yeah, yep. And this is the result. All good right. Good stuff, mate, good stuff. And that's that. That's, actually, if we spin around, yeah, everybody yep. be able to see him. I'm, I don't want to fall backwards, because I've, I've just told you how deep it is, so. I guess if we had to give anybody any tips on catching trout, now experienced fishermen, super experienced trout fishermen, yep. we've all done a bit of it. Um, I think keep that lure size nice and small. small. If we were missing those ones there, even those soft plastics, don't be afraid to cut them in half and create a smaller profile. Look in your bag, see what you've got in a smaller size. Um, and then sometimes it can be the exact opposite when they're really aggressive where you go to a bigger lure. And it's not so much that feeding response, it's like, man, this is my hole, baby trout, get out. Get out. Yep. Yeah, spot on. There's a t-shirt there. <laughs> baby trout, get out, get there's out. a t-shirt right there. And let's let's have a look at this fella. Notice we're keeping them in the water, it's quite warm at the moment. You can hear the cicadas in the background. And uh, that, that, look at that, that is a supermodel fish. The fins are beautiful on that. Good male. Yes. They're so pretty, aren't they, with those dots? And, yeah, and he's, he's hooked him in the top of the jaw yep. there. All right, mate, off you go, buddy. <laughs> Look at him go. Well done. That's awesome. Got him off. Oh, that was a good bump then. Yep, he's come yeah. back for it. Got yeah. him. Go. Oh. Oh, Jack. Oh, Jacko. He come and whacked it. Yeah. And then I just fed it back to him. And good stuff. So yeah. that's on a different colour. That's on the pink. Yep. Yeah, I went for the nice bright colour. And uh, he's not a bad fish either, oh, mate. Nice fish. Good fish. Very good fish. Oh, there's another one with him, another big one with him, just following him around. There you go, you can I'm see back, him. I'm back, Jack, right I'll there. try to get a double hook up here. All right, we'll see if we can get a double. Oh, yes. He's got him. <laughs> <laughs> double hook up. How oh, was that? you're joking. <laughs> we saw that fish coming up like Oh, oh yes, look at the head shakes. Oh, yeah. Double hook up. They're two nice fish. <laughs> oh, that's so awesome when you can see it like that, right at your I've feet. I've never seen that before in my life. Oh, that's gold. So you just spotted that oh, other fish yep. going around. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Look, oh. Oh. he's going off that one, mate. <laughs> Nearly jumped straight, straight into me. This, yeah. is, this is crazy. Oh, no, that's yeah. yours, big dog one. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> mate. <laughs> crazy, folks. Check that out. How oh, and, that? and so somebody's pink lures just popped out. Yeah, so one's Jack's. falling out in the net. That's yours. I'll get that one out so we know whose is well, whose and. I think you got I the bigger one, I think I got one, the bigger I'm going to take it, yeah. Jack. I'm going to take this, it. Right, here's the proof in the pudding. <laughs> that, <laughs> take it where that, you can. There we go. So that's uh, the law that you used. So that was your fish. Where's Jack's law going down here somewhere? And there's yours. So does colour matter? No. I, I think the action matters before the colour sometimes. Wow, that's, that's pretty cool. How visual was that to be looking down through the water and then... This one's on, and then this thing, it went aerial and Come just came in and oh. smashed it. That was so good. 
Now that's a cracking catch. If you've been catching some ripper fish lately, then send your photo into our Alphabs Cracking Catch competition at the Real Action Facebook page. To get you hooked up every week, we're giving away a pen rod reel and line combo, an awesome ocean LED underwater light, along with some great gear from Valvoline to keep your marine engine and trailer lubricated. Right, let's get it right. good. Right, we'll get him back. Now that, look at that go. That's the best. <laughs> I love seeing him swim off in that one. Oh, that one's a bit smaller. That one yeah. must be, uh, oh. that's Jax, is it? I think we. <laughs> there we go. Good stuff. Well, we had a cracking day yesterday on the big rainbow trout up in the top end. The big dog, Paul Sheather, looked after us there. Now, this is your local waterway, Jack. We've come down through through Bellingen, down the Waterfall Way, and this is the, well, we're at Yurunga. Yurunga now, yep. Kalang and the Bellingen River meet here. Kalang's that way and the Bellinger's up there, All so right. this is where they meet. There he is, again. Oh, there's a bite. <laughs> Ooh, got some head shakes. Yeah, mate, that was a good bite I just had and I missed him. Ooh, what is it? Yep, yeah, nice and silver. Oh, it's a little dewy. I'll make this one for you. Here you go. Slip him in. It's actually really good for the fishery, Jacko, to see to see them in in numbers like that. So that sure. augurs really well moving forward. No, it? It's a healthy system. You've got these these little little mulloway schooling up. Legal size is about there, 70 yep. centimetres. Yep. And I think New South Wales regulations now you're only allowed to keep one over 70, yeah, which, which is really good. You know, one fish at 70 centimetres, plenty of plenty of oh, feed. That's right. If you're going to keep one deep, yeah, I did have a good it. hit on this lure, but I reckon if they're that size, I, I think I might have to scale back down. Yeah, a little drop down. Righto, buddy. We'll get you off. Oh. Oh. Got him. Got him. Yep. Only a little fish, mate. Little one. Oh, you right? You're, I'm right. I think I'm right. right. I think I'm right, and I'm right. <laughs> so the bigger law worked. I didn't think it would. What an appetite. Just goes to show you how they stack so much weight on. They grow really fast, mull away. He's looked at that and thought, that's a mullet coming out on the outgoing tide. So that uh, paddle, paddle tail Ooh. lure's done its job. And Next Jack's, one. Jack's getting a bite behind me. There's obviously a few there. <laughs> Here you go, bud. Go on. Come on, the daily oh. double. Oh. Double hook One on the time, oh, here he is. Yes. Come on, I'm Jacko. Coming. That's two, mate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like catching great big ones. I want to tell you, I'm so excited to see such a healthy population. It augurs really well for the whole system when you've got these fish stacked up and they're going to get bigger. Go and hunt the beaches, good. get yeah. in estuary systems, aren't they? That's it. All right, oh, mate, awesome. let's spear them back in. Off you go, buddy. The window that we want to fish. So visually, you can see we're about 12 metres away from that wall there, but that line we want to fish is right where the rocks meet the sand. If you have a look there, you can see there's a bit of a bit of a kick in there where the sand pushes in, the rocks probably falling in a different way on the break wall. Those little places will create back eddies there, really good areas to fish. You can see out this side, it's all basically bare sand, and that is not where the fish are hanging out. They're right on that edge. There got he him is. On. Oh. What do you got? Got him on. Oh, Taylor. Taylor, nice Taylor. Nice that one. Taylor. Silver, silver sided. fish. Oh, oh, oh. I thought, I thought I'd make a slight error with the, with the net shot there for a minute. But right. no, I'll good. grab him out. It's another one of the inhabitants that run up and down the rock wall, chomping and feeding on the bait. Well done, bud. Oh, I think this one could be just that little bit, little bit bigger. Or no, it's a trevally. Here he comes. <laughs> it's not a bad one either, mate. <laughs> it shows you how hard they fight. Hey, they go like a train. They Amazing. Sure and they grow to an insane size. Real action, we've caught them 40 kilos. I caught one recently this year um, when I was out and about off Townsville. Um, 35 kilos on a yeah. soft plastic. I was there. You were I there. I witnessed it. Didn't it, it? Was... And it went through the gears like nothing. <laughs> and it was a cracking big, 
35 kilo GT. This is his little friend, and he's got a fair way to join. He's made in Tanzil. It's about 2,200 kilometres north from here. That way. That, way. Yeah. Yeah, that, that direction. <laughs> <laughs> Off you go, bud. Ooh. Got him. A couple of head shakes. Ooh. Ooh. It's a bit better. Oh. Go, son. It's a lot better, that one, mate. Oh. <laughs> Doing a bit of dancing there. He's coming around here now. Oh, there's a nice bit of silver. There he is. Sliding there he is. Sliding in. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, look out. Oh, That's finally. A little bit better, mate. It's funny how they're all that same juvenile size, and then this is maybe part of another school so could be yeah. so tempting we're thinking about blasting out and we probably will in a minute go and see if we can't find a little black marlin out wider but i gotta tell you it's ha so hard to leave these and guys. people at home be saying you blokes you, what is wrong with you people you're driving away from a school of jewies that are feeding on lures even though they're not big ones i tell you it's only like we're using um this tackle we're using three to five kilo some um some 10 pound 10 pound braid and a bit of 15 pound leader and then those paddle tail laws and I noticed you got him on the bigger size too. That was yeah, a plan. So that was a plan. We're gonna upsize and see if we can upsize the fish. It's worked. Well done. It's Great worked. stuff. Oh, off you go buddy. Oh. Oh. The people you run into, amazing. Yeah, well. <laughs> so Kayla's going to come for a fish with us to finish the day off. Come bass fishing. Yeah, jump on, mate. There you go. Straight on, and then we're on. <laughs> oh, and you got some coffees. Yeah. <laughs> we got some really good dewies this morning. Well, when I say really good, we caught a heap of them. They're only little ones. But um, and then yesterday we were out trout fishing, and how good was the trout fishing? It was Plenty amazing. Big rainbow trout. So yeah. trout. Dewey's, we've got a Trevally and a Taylor. I'm going to go up and try and catch a couple of bass, so bass fishing. Have you caught a bass before? I have, but they were only really little. Right that was years ago. Time for a new PB. <laughs> I've seen you crack some PBs before, <laughs> big Dewey's. We filmed not that long ago and you got another nice Dewey with us, about yeah. over, well over that metre mark, so off a few bass. All right, we'll have something to eat and get into it. the net. So that's in the I don't think we need fresh the net. water. Go, 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 go. Yes. Oh. Wow. There we go. So we're in fresh water, absolute fresh water. So we've been way down the front there where we uh, we got stuck into those dewies. Kayla's a bit of a late comer. <laughs> Bailed in at the coffee shop. Oh, check that out. So it's amazing what comes up here. I would have thought that was a bass straight away when you got that bite. Why am I holding your fish? Do you want me to hold it out for to make it look bigger or what? You, you hang on to it. There you go. But um, yeah, that's just a little curly tail grub. So I've got a popper on, you're going to a different soft plastic and Kayla's sort of throwing in underneath us. It's still a little bit early in the afternoon. It is blowing a gale. Our plan was to go out and try and find a marlin. Yep. And it was dead calm and then this big southerly change has come through. Great thing about this part of the world. We've come from way up at Ebor down to Yurunga in the mouth. You've got this fantastic river here and you can explore that and that's exactly what we're doing at the moment. That's good. I thought you had a bass for sure. But <laughs> I anyway, thought I did too. Hey, that works. That works. Oh. Ready? Yep. Oh. Go on. Flush me. When the fishing's a bit tough, you tend to go to what works. And this pumpkin seed colour, yeah, it just seems to get the bite at times. Very natural brown looking sort of colour. We're chasing bass, so we want something with a, with a natural colour. A little bit of scent. Pretty heavily scented these lures anyway, but every sort of 10 casts just add a bit of that scent on there, and it definitely makes a difference to the amount of bites you get. Don't need too much, just wipe a bit up the on the ribs of the lure there. I don't tend to put it on the tail too much, I want the fish to really crash and then bite and hold on nice and tight on that part, and that's where the hook is. So you can run that, sometimes I run that curly tail up the other way. I think sometimes when it's down, get slightly better hook exposure when it's sitting like that. But um, 
that's my presentation. Fingers crossed it'll find a bass. Got in there, mate. I'll grab yeah. the net for you. There we go, what have we fish. got? Oh. oh, another brim. No, it's a nice no. bass. Oh. <laughs> under there. Oh, hang on, hang on, bud. Sneak him in Slidey. there, sneak him in oh, there. Yes. <laughs> it is blowing 400 knots. We tried to sneak out, didn't we, for a, we ducked out and then we came straight back in. It was so rough to go and try and find a marlin. Because yep. Kayla hasn't caught one yet, but that is something we'll sort out on the TV show. Too far away. Oh, he just spat that out. Just dropped it. And Jack missed a good bass down there. The barometer's not great. Everything's, nothing's in our favour. And we want, we've, we've had a fantastic trip so far with some unbelievably big rainbow trout. How many Mulloway did we catch this morning? 23? 23. 23. 23. Oh, no, there are only little ones. Jack got one nice one there, but we had a great time doing that. And we wanted to top it off up in the Bellingen River here with a nice bass. And I finally got one. Look I've that. caught bigger ones before. We're gonna tell you, that's a beautiful looking fish. It's that time of the afternoon, we'll keep creeping along. You never know, we might find another one, but we'll find that's what they look like, Kayla. <laughs> Match your shirt pretty well. <laughs> You've been watching Real Action. Michael Guest, Jack Nolan, Kayla Brown. We'll catch you next time. Bye now. <laughs> if you want more tips, tricks, and behind-the-scenes stories, check out the Real Action Fishing Podcast.